Vicky, welcome back to my channel. This is Rocked Up Frocks where I take vintage and pre-loved clothing and give it a makeover. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and make sure you click the little bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. Today I'm going to be making over this coat. This coat was in the bag of free vintage clothes that I got a few weeks ago. Um, I'll click the link up there so you can go and have a look and see what else we got. We initially rejected this coat because it was quite damaged but then uh, Kartika and I pulled it back out and decided that actually we really did want to do something with it. Most of the damage is at the bottom front here so I'm actually going to shorten the coat and just take that damage off rather than trying to find a way to repair it. There's also some damage just on the side front here so I'm going to put some darts in the front to hide that. And then we're going to add this amazing trim that we found at Cardiff Collective while I was doing my upcycling workshops there. And I'm going to add this around the collar, around the cuffs, around along the pocket flaps and across the back as well. It's also missing its buttons, so I found three beautiful buttons that I'm going to use to replace those. This coat, once it's finished, is then going to be an auction item at this year's Sweet Charity event. So Sweet Charity, if you don't know, is an event that Kartika started six years ago. Sweet Charity raises money for paediatrics at the Canberra Hospital and to date we've raised over $100,000. So hopefully this coat will go well in the auction and raise some more money this year. Sweet Charity is in September this year. I'll put all the links to the details below and there's still tickets available. So come along and join us if you're in Canberra. It's a really good fun afternoon of amazing high tea. All the food is donated by local businesses and bakeries. I put on a big fashion show and we have a lot of fun and raise a lot of money. So come and join us. The first thing I'm going to do is shorten the coat to remove this damage. So it looks like something's been spilled on it and has eaten through it. There's a little bit of staining on the lining too. So I'm going to measure all the way along how much I need to cut off, cut it off, do a double turn and then stitch it into place. shorten the bottom of the coat the pockets are actually going to be too long so I'm going to have to take a fair bit off the length of the pockets next so I'm still going to leave them so they're small pockets but they're not going to be quite as big and usable as they are at the minute unfortunately but it's going to look better than having pocket hanging out the bottom of the coat I'm going to stitch and cut that and then I think I'm actually going to just pop a tiny stitch there to hold the pocket forward so that when it's got things in the weight of it doesn't pull down. Next up I need to shorten the lining so I'm going to cut the same amount of the lining as we did for the bottom of the coat and then do a double turn pin and stitch the hem of that. put a couple of just really small darts in the side fronts just to hide this little bit of damage here you can just see it's just really worn through at this point so I'm just going to put a short dart down each front just to add a little feature and to hide that little bit of damage so I'm going to turn it inside out and mark on both sides where I want the dart to go and then pin it and sew it Next I'm going to replace the missing buttons. So I've marked where the three buttons need to go and I'm going to replace them with these lovely brown buttons which again we found at Cardiff Collective. So the next thing I'm going to do is add all my decorations. So I've got this beautiful trim that we found at Cardiff Collective and I'm going to hand stitch this around the collar or along the pocket flaps, around the cuffs and across the back. I'm just going to do any little hand stitching of bits that need it as I go as well. I know that this has just come out the seam here a little bit, so I'm just going to hand stitch that back into place as I stitch the trim across the back. There's 
there's a fair bit of damage around the cuffs of this jacket from age and wear and just the fabric has worn away over with time as well. So rather than trying to fix it and shorten the sleeves, this trim's just gonna help disguise it all nicely. And while fixing it would give the jacket a longer life, this is still gonna extend something that was so damaged it probably would have been thrown away. 